Hello everyone, I'm Relic Gaming and this is my first ever mod tutorial and today we are going to be taking a look at the immersive engineering water wheel and we'll look at how we can maximize the output from that. So I'm just going to grab some bits. We are going to need some clear glass and some cyan wool. Well you can use whatever materials you want but I'm going to use the clear glass for the outside and the cyan wool for the bits on the inside. We'll need a kinetic dynamo, some water wheels, some water, and I'm also going to be using the builder's wand just to speed things up as well. The ladders, I've put those in there because you can use those on the outside in your survival wells just to get at the top and put the water in that you need. So let's get on with it. So for the basic frame, you're going to want a box, which is going to be nine long by five wide and seven high. So let's just get the first bit of the outside done like so. And as I say, I'm going to be using the builders one just to speed things up. So you're basically going to want this three, three, three block wide gap in the middle. And then we'll just grab our wand and make that seven high so it's already one so that's you can get it there two three four five six and seven and then the same on the other side two three four five six and seven and then just fill in the outside and the other side where there's just a little gap here you can actually get down there like so and then at the back here because this will be the back you're going to want to put two deep by three and then one deep by three and then we're going to put in the kinetic dynamo now that's going to go bang smack in the middle so it's going to be one closer to here so two away from here and one away from here but from the outside it will look like five and we're going to put that three on the top of the third block. So one, two, three, and then we'll take that one out. Now the kinetic dynamo, you have to put it in this side because on the outside, you're going to want to have this, just this clear piece just here, blank piece. If you put it in the other way around, it's not going to work. And then we want to put the water wheels in, attach them from the dynamo side first, like so. And then we can get out and we can put our first piece of water in. I didn't mean to drop down there. So first of all, take your inside interior material and one from the back. So leave a one gap here, place it down. Take your water bucket and place it on the first block here of the water wheel. It's just going to get rid of that rain really quickly. So toggle downfall. And then we can drop down to the bottom because next we're going to, going to want to get in here. So don't take this first block out, take the blocks up here. And then you want to put this actually on the block, not on the water wheel, but on that second block in three buckets of water. Fill this back in. And then the final piece is going to go at the back here. So what you're going to want to do is you want to count down three. So one, two, three. And that's where you're going to put your final block. So put that all the way across. Take your water again. And this time this is going to go up against the glass. So one, two, and three. Now that's all the pieces of water all the buckets of water in place. You can fill this bit in the back here, but I'm just going to leave that open. I did it over here, I filled it, but that's fine. Now I'm just going to grab a basic capacitor bank because I'm going to be able to show you what power this is outputting. Now I will say sometimes this glitches a bit and it gets stuck on 87. So if I just give it a tap with, yeah, so that's stuck on 87. The way that you can correct this, let's see if I've got an, an empty bucket, actually I don't think I have. Let's just jump up here again. 
and get rid of this water. I'm just going to place these blocks down here to do that. And then I'm just going to pop the water back again. And that will probably have corrected things. And there we go. That's now up to 88. As I say, I don't know what causes that, but that sometimes happens. So that, in a nutshell, is basically how you maximise out the water wheel's capacity. It's all very simple, and I hope that this has been of some help to you. I'll probably do some more mod tutorials in the future if there's a if there's a call for it. But I wanted to do this one because I couldn't find that many on the internet that were that were sort of relatively clear. So thanks ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, drop us a like. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.